name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mysteries i, I confess to almighty god and, and to my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I, I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god for ever and ever amen a reading from the book of genesis the lord god called to the man where are you he asked i heard the sound of you in the garden he replied i was afraid because i was naked so i hid who told you that you were naked he asked have you been eating of the tree i provide to eat the man replied it was the woman you put with me she gave me the fruit and i eat it the lord asked the woman what is this you have done the woman replied the serpent tempted me and i ate then the lord god said to the serpent because you have done this be accursed beyond all cattle all wild beasts you shall crawl on your belly and eat dust every day of your life i will make you enemies of each other you and the woman your offspring and her offspring it will crush your head and you will strike its heel to the woman he said i will multiply your pains in childbearing you shall give birth to your ch children in pain your yearning shall be for your husband yet he will lord it over you to the man he said because you listened to the voice of your wife and ate from the tree of which i had forbidden you to eat a curse be the soil because of you with suffering shall you get your your food from it every day of your life it shall yield you brambles and thistles and you shall eat wild plants with sweet and on your brow you shall eat your bread until you return to the soil as you were taken from it for thus you are and to dust you shall return the man named his wife eve because she was the mother of all those who lived the lord god made clothes out of skins for the man and his wife and they put them on then the lord god said see the man has become like one of us with his knowledge of good and evil he must not be allowed to stretch his hand out next and pick from the tree of life also and eat some and live forever so the lord god expelled him from the garden of eden to tell the soil from which he had 
been taken. He banished the men, and in front of the Garden of Eden, he posted cherubs and the flame of a flashing sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. O Lord, you, are, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the word world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You turn men back into dust, and you say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes of a thousand years are like yesterday's come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. You swept me away like a dream, like grass which spring up in the morning. In the morning of spring up flowers, by evening withers and fade. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of our hearts. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity on your servants. O oh Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Alleluia, alleluia. Man does not live on a bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A great crowd had gathered, and they had nothing to eat. So Jesus called his disciples to him and said to them, I feel sorry for these people. They have been with me for three days now and have nothing to eat. If I send them off home hungry, they will collapse on the way. Somehow come a great distance. His disciples replied, Where could anyone get bread to feed these people in a desert place like this? He asked them, how many loaves have you? Seven, they said. Then he instructed the crowd to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves, and after giving thanks, he broke them and handed them to his disciples to distribute. And they distributed them among the crowd. They had a few small fish as well. And over these he said a blessing, and ordered them to be distributed also. They ate as much as they wanted, and they collected seven basketfuls of the scraps left over. Now there had been about 4,000 people. He sent them away, and immediately getting into, a, into the boat with his disciples, went to the region of Dalmanutha. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
blessed are you lord god of all creation for your goodness we have to see divine be of you fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual blessed be god forever pray my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church o lord our god who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through christ our lord Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our it God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Father most holy through your beloved son Jesus Christ your word through whom you made all things whom you sent us our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people He stretched out his hands as he ended his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks He gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and eat drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your, your death, death o lord, lord and, and profess your, your resurrection until you come amen. again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope and Paul our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face how mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages we may merit to be cocious to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us, us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be the partakers in the one bread and one the chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for Mercy Centered. Thanks be to God.